Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I've just finished making this little mini album and I thought I would give you a quick flick through uh, and show you what I've made using the Hello Honey collection from Rosie Studios. Uh, now I just started off with a 4x4 album base. Uh, this, is a, this is a We Are Memory Keepers one. It's very old. It's been in my stash for a long, long time. Uh, and I've basically just decorated the cover here really simply. This is kind of a spring themed album. Wishful thinking on my behalf, I know, but uh, here we go. Celebrate every moment. So just a little kind of general spring album that I can fill up once all of those flowers start popping. Created a little paper ruffle and then a whole bunch of really, it's like really layered and textural with the floral die cuts. I mean, I've used so many of these. They are definitely my favorite. Um, I've got a wee bee on the book plate as well. It's very bee themed. It's appropriate for spring, I guess. And then on the inside, I made a whole bunch of different pages. I created a few little kind of cut files with my Cricut and then I decorated the heck out of them. So I've got this uh, honeycomb kind of hexagon page uh, that I backed with a vellum. So you can kind of see the pages underneath and then added a little cluster with some of those wee hexagon enamel dots. And then I created a few kind of little half pages like this. So they're like a half hexagon. I've left heaps of pages like where I can put little photos into frames. I've got wee um, little page markers that I can move around if I need be. This is really just a base to fill in as I go. And I've basically left all of the back pages blank so I can add journaling or photos. Now I've got a couple of pages in here, little shakery pages, and I added these florals on top uh, and on the back here so that I could add some stitching around here, uh, and it just stops all of those uh, sequins like falling to the bottom of the album. So this album's been sitting on my shelf, and you can see that there are still a ton of sequins at the top there as well. I've added a few vellum pages in here just to create that same texture. You could easily put a photo into here. I've left this uh, loose, this little die cut, but you could also add one on the back to kind of cover up some of those pages, uh, some of those little elements with the glue on them. There are three divider pages in here, but again, I've left these elements loose so I can slip photos into them. This is a fun one. I loved this kind of um, gingham-y paper. I've wrapped the cover with that as well, but I didn't want to cut this page, so I've just created a Z-fold, and there is actually a magnet in here, so it snaps shut itself. I love the look of the layered flowers, and it means I can kind of hide some journaling if I need to. Here's another one of the little half hexagons with a wee cluster on there. And this page is super simple, just one of the pretty florals with the um, lace border punched into it and a few little page flags at the top. Now I made a couple of pages like this with some uh, like ombre flowers. I kept it really kind of monochrome colored. This one is blue. There is another pink one, of course. And this was a super simple page just with some of these really pretty stamps. Is They're like, it's hard to show you. They're kind of gold foiled in there. And then this frame, I didn't leave it empty. I mean, I could put a photo in there, but I've just backed it with some of that pretty um, pattern paper. Like I said, I can put photos on the other sides of the pages. So some of these pages are like just decorative and clustery, and I love it. Here is another of my little sequin shaker pages. The same thing on that side with the two florals. And then here's my wee pink ombre florals. Just adding some little puffy stickers and page flags to match. The last of my little divider pages. Uh, it was super simple, this one. 
And then my last page is really just decorative. I could add a photo in here, but what I've used is I've used some of the packaging um, from one of the sticker sheets that I used up, this like floral, puffy sticker florals that I used up, and I used the rest of them on here, just to give the back of my album something solid so that when I'm flipping through those pages back and forward, I'm not tearing anything, nothing's getting caught on these little metal corners um, because I've got this kind of like divider page in the back. So that's it, that's my little 4x4 album that I'm hoping that I can fill up soon enough. Um, only another month or so until <laughs> spring hits around here. Uh, but for now I have had fun playing this really beautiful, fun, bright and colourful. I can't tell you how much I needed the colour of this collection. Um, so fun. If you want to look at the collection for yourself I will leave a link in the description box. Otherwise, thanks for joining me today and I'll see you again really soon. Bye.